I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So uh, another from my trip from Asheville. Um, so this is the Cosmic and Divine. It's a collab with Burial and Jay Wakefield. We've done uh, Jay Wakefield before. Um, about it, about it. Love their stuff. Yeah, about it, about it. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, so this one is an imperial stout uh, with caramel, and it is aged on toasted pecans and chocolate. Uh, it's also got sea salt in it, and I've had it before. I've really liked it. Thought we should review it. I mean, just with the name Jay, Week Jay Wakefield and Burial, I mean, it's going to get a lot of hits. So we thought, why not? Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And you've had this. I have had this. I have not. Well, I was on vacation. I had to test it to see if I needed uh, to get more yeah. on the way back. That's pretty dark. I can't yeah, see it's around dark, it. But you can kind of see through the edge. So for yeah. a stout, you, it's going to be a little thin. Pretty dark though. Ten percent. Not much head there. Not barrel aged. Okay. No, it is not. It would be better barrel aged. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Anything would be, except IPAs. So I think it's got for a non barrel aged stout a pretty good aroma. I get chocolate. I get a roasted malts. I mean, definitely. There. I get the chocolate malt. I get. It's, it's not got a huge roastiness though, to me at least. I get a decent amount, but I get kind of like a, a milk chocolate, like a you know the lactose you talked right. about. So it's a little good. bit of the sweeter. Yeah. Aroma. Okay. And I guess yeah, we could argue about it. But yeah, roastiness. It's 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 not like super bitter. Yeah, I agree with you. It's it's the, it's, it's it's present, but it's not overwhelming okay. or anything. I mean, you just had Old Rasputin, and the nose on that, that's, that's way more roasty. Right, that's a big that's way roasty. More roasty yeah. This is just kind of mild roastiness. It was on Nitro, too. Creamy. It was pretty uh -huh. good, man. I bet was, that was good. World of Beer. Go World there. of Beers, yeah. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> the pretzel and beer cheese was good. And the pretzel was phenomenal. Beer cheese was pretty good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Off topic. Back to business. Cheers. 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 Yeah, I kind of get hit with like sweet milk chocolate and then kind of a roastiness right to follow. But then like now I get a little bit of that caramel. Like it's kind of this yeah. candy caramel. I get the candy mm. caramel up front. And I could be part of the nuts in there chocolate. too. Mm. Great first sip, complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish it was thicker though. I mean, it, it is a little on the thin side. Very, yeah, 10%, pretty thin. Yeah, it tastes like a great, like a milk stout. I mean, the, the lactose. Mm -hmm. It's definitely sweeter and less roasty than just a standard imperial stout. That's true, but a little more roasty than most milk stout. So it's got yeah, a little bit kind of, of in between. To it. Yeah, fair enough. A little bit of nuttiness from I assume the, the toasted uh, pecans. Um, but I do like the sweetness, and it mm. doesn't taste to me. It doesn't taste like a milk stout. I mean, I get some sweetness, which you, yeah, it, it's hard to know if that's from being a milk stout or from the caramel, but it could be either one. Yeah, but I like that. It's fairly complex, mm. non-barrel aged beer. Desserty, nice. I like this. Give it a four. Okay, I'm gonna go four two five. Uh, um, knocking it for the mouthfeel mainly. I mean, it's, it's just a little really on the thin. thin. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna stick with four two five. I like it. No, I like it too. So if you don't want the can I brought you back, I'll take it back. Four is a good score. Okay. Four right. is a great. Just making sure. Definitely want the can. Come on, man. <laughs> um, no, I like it. Uh, I definitely get all these complex flavors. Very good. Um, yeah, I would recommend this to friends. It's definitely That's good. Solid. Barrel aged, it would be better. A little thicker a little and thicker barrel aged would make it just awesome. Some vanilla. That's what bourbon. it's missing. It's the only thing it's missing. Absolutely, and some mouthfeel. But I do like the the nuttiness. It, you know, it adds some oh, complexity. Yeah. It, it doesn't. Some milk styles, it just it tastes like they just poured milk in it, and mm -hmm. I don't like that. No. Um, this, on the other hand, I mean, it, it tastes artificial. This does not. No. This, this is really good. A sweetness I like. So I've been impressed with the beer, with beer beer. Five. And uh, the cool thing, if you've ever been or the region or whatever, I love the side of their brewery with Tom Selleck and Sloth. I mean, it doesn't get, I mean, Tom's classic Tom Selleck, nice, you know, brushy mustache, arm around Sloth. I mean, we're talking Magnum P.I. or 80s. I mean, it's just, it doesn't get much better than that. So you just gotta respect it. Their beers are good too. I've had several IPA. I mean, it's just a solid, nice brewery. Asheville, I mean, it's just, you could walk to eight breweries in half a mile. It's just, it's a great place. So uh, I, I really like Burial. Uh, Jay Wakefield, of course, has got a bigger name than that. Um, right. 
Uh, great stuff, though. Yeah, it is. Anything else? No. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.